This question start with etana to form the product R. So it's go through a few steps. The first step is uh, nucleophilic addition because it's given HCN and NSCN. So the etana, this one, it will uh, form the uh, cyanohydrin. So it's at the HCN, this one at the H, this one at CN to form this cyanohydrin. Okay, after that, uh, this uh, cyanohydrin undergo hydrolysis okay, because it's the uh, acid with reflux. So this one will break and this carbon uh, will form COOH. And of course, it will form this product Q. Product Q, uh, it has two functional group now, um, OH and COOH. Okay, and this uh, molecule it is actually can undergo self acidification uh, itself. So because uh, this molecule is has two functional group which can undergo acidification. Okay, so therefore, uh, okay, this one, okay, it has a, okay, it look like this lah. So it will uh undergo two acidification okay so this one is one molecule of the Q as is mentioned two molecules of Q will give one molecules of R this R okay so then it will remove two water means uh, the COOH okay, reacts with the OH in another molecule to remove H2O and this uh, OH, the H from OH, okay, remove with this, uh, o, this OH from COOH. Okay, here you form, you remove another H2O. That's why it say that it's uh, remove two water molecules. After it's removed the H2O, then the ester group is formed, right? This one new bonding form, and this one also uh, is a uh, new bonding is formed, right? This uh, new bonding, yeah. Okay, so then it will form this uh, cyclic uh, diester. Okay, remove two water. Uh, if we, if uh, let's say now we try to count the carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen number. Okay, so this one. Uh, is will be C6, H8, and O4. Okay, and the uh, empirical formula is C3, H4, O2. So, which is B. Okay, that's all. Thank you.